What's up, Fragrant World? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. And today I got a fragrance I've been wanting to smell for a long time. I've been late to the game with both of the fragrances from this house, at least the ones marketed for men. We're talking about Date for Men from Fragrance One, the brand spearheaded by the one and only Jeremy Fragrance. And I bought this myself. This was not sent to me. And yeah, I waited a long time because of the COVID crisis we're in. I ordered it at the beginning of April, I think. And it took me about a month to receive this. I got it a couple weeks ago. So I've actually been waiting to smell it. I haven't smelled it yet, just been holding on to it. I wanted to do a live first impressions, give you my live first thoughts. I'll put it on skin, tell you what I get out of it. We'll take a look at the notes. And then uh, I'm going to come back later, give you an update. I'm going to use this as my scent of the day, which I don't normally do. I don't normally wear a fragrance out until I've thoroughly tested it at home. But I'm just going to put it on. We're just going to try it. I'm going to wear it out for the day. I'll be back several hours from now. For you, it'll be a quick jump cut. And I'll let you know what I think about this, you know, the scent overall and the value proposition and all that good stuff. So for now, let's jump right into it. And uh, this little guy, I think it's $35. And at least at the time I purchased it, they were running a buy one, get one sale, which is not bad at all. It's only 10 milliliters for 35 bucks, which is steep. Um, but the buy one, get one makes it a little better. So I ended up getting a little travel size for office as well, because why not? But we're gonna put this on my arm here. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> not the greatest sprayer, but okay. Already getting it in the air, getting some citrus, sweet citrus. Dang, that bad, huh? I guess so. This is underwhelming. <laughs> I got to say, I'm not impressed by this at all. Not only that, but I'm not even remotely enjoying it. It's sweet. The sweetness that's in here reminds me of the sweetness you get out of John Paul Gaultier Ultra Mall, which I love. But this one is backed by this. There's an aroma chemical in here that I'm not digging. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, it's something I've smelled before. It's like this cologne smell. It's hard to describe. I'm not super keen on all the aroma chemicals, but something in the background is not really doing it for me. So it's sweet. It's a little fresh. There's some citrus up top, maybe mandarin orange. I'm not getting much more than that. So I'm going to leave it here and just say my initial thoughts are it's okay. I mean, it's it's kind of what I was expecting in terms of what I heard from other people in reviews, but I don't find it. I don't know. I, I'm not crazy about it, but I'm going to give it a full wearing. We're just going to go for it. I might regret this, but I'll let you know later. So let's see. Do. do five sprays for now because I don't know how this thing is going to perform so five is a good number I think to start with just in case it's too strong or it's too weak it's something in the middle which is good so I'm gonna keep an eye well, keep a nose on this as it develops throughout the day I'll come back later this evening and give you an update I'll see you then hey everyone future Justin here just wanted to remind you to please watch our latest video that came out before this came out on may the 22nd the thumbnail of the video looks like what you see here on the screen it's a really really cool announcement some really big changes in a positive way that's going to affect everyone and please don't skip it those of you who have watched it thank you so much you're going to get in on the fun, but those of you who have not watched it, please take the time, check it out. I'll link it at the end of this video. Justin, of course, is not going to say anything about it because at the time we're shooting this, this hadn't happened yet. So this is future Justin doing the cleanup work, coming in after the fact to let you know to please watch that video. We would absolutely love to hear your thoughts on it. Anyway, thank you so much. 
and enjoy the rest of the review. Okay, welcome back. It's been two days. Spent a little bit more time with Date for Men. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, probably not, but I did put a little dent in this. The juice is probably about here now. This is only 10 milliliters. So this is what I think about the scent. It's pleasant. I like it better than my first impression, which I'm sure you noticed exactly what my thoughts were on this fragrance when I first smelled it. Up close, not my favorite. I'm not really sure what gives it its quality that it has in the opening. It could be the citruses like the bergamot and the mandarin. Sometimes mandarin orange can get a little funny. I'm not sure if it's that mixed with the ambroxan or whatever it is, but there's something in here that was just kind of like almost sour and just not pleasant at all, at least up close. In the air, it was nice, but up close, I, yeah, I was like, this is not good. <laughs> it just simply was not pleasant. That was about 15, 20 minutes on the skin. After that, that quality goes away and it's a lot better, a lot more digestible, a lot more pleasant. But it reminds me of Ultramol. I simply prefer the quality and the blend of Ultramol. And I'm not saying this is top tier, high quality stuff. This is a club scent. <laughs> it's a playful, sweet, fresh, youthful scent. But I prefer this. It just, the quality is better. Even up close, it just smells a whole lot smoother to me than Date for Men. Now, Date for Men is an extra to Parfum, as you can see. In fact, from what I heard from Jeremy, uh, he put in a video where he got the first batch of bottles of this in. He unboxed them, and on camera, he was like, oh, they mislabeled the bottles as Eau de Parfum. They're actually x -trait. So at the very least, the travel atomizers are labeled x -trait. And the uh, probably the newer batches of bottles have been corrected as well. But the old batch, you might have it if it says Eau de Parfum. Apparently, it's actually an x de Parfum. Now, in terms of how that translated in performance, it didn't give me the sillage I was looking for. I think I wore a good five sprays around my neck which seems like quite a bit for an extra de parfum. That's its high concentration. I mean, we're talking about 27% fragrance oils in this. So that's concentrated. But the sillage wasn't really what I would have liked. I spent a lot of time outdoors during my testing. I was running errands and stuff, and I was catching whiffs here and there. And when I did catch a whiff, it was really pleasant. But I wasn't picking it up as much as I'd like. But longevity is no issue at all. It's gonna last on your skin all night. You're gonna smell it the next morning. As it dries down, it just gets a little bit more woody. In terms of the note breakdown in here, we open up with some citruses, as I said, lemon, bergamot, mandarin, orange. There's some artemisia in there, which gives it a little bit of an herbal quality. And there's some cardamom. And in the heart, we get into the ambroxan. There's extreme woods, as they coin it, and there's juniper. And then in the base, there's musk, patchouli, oud essence, and vetiver. Didn't get much oud at all. Musky, kind of. A little bit of patchouli and maybe some vetiver. It's just kind of got woody as it dries. Stays sweet, gets woody, less creamy, less fresh, more woody and sweet. Not a whole lot of development though. It is a quite a simple wearing experience. So if you're looking for evolution in a scent, this is not it, but it's pleasant. It will get you compliments. I can guarantee that I didn't get any compliments because I'm not getting close to people. And you shouldn't be either. But I will be wearing this. I think this is an eau de toilette and this performs just as well for me as date somehow. So I prefer Ultramol. That's just me. If you want to get a bottle of this, a full bottle, yeesh. Retail price, I think it's 274, what is it? 247, sorry, 247.99 uh, dollars that is. Almost $250 for 100 milliliters. That is not worth it to me. I cannot get behind that. Every now and then I think they do have some deals where you can get percentage off, which I you know, think it's a little better, but just in terms of the wearing experience, in terms of how it actually smells, how it stacks up to other fragrances in this price bracket, in terms of a wearing experience, in terms of like finding interest in the experience as you're wearing it, just for you as the wearer, you know, other people will like it too, but something that is actually going to be thought provoking and that is going to be artistic. When you're paying that much money, that's kind of what you're looking for. 
but you don't really get it with this. Now, would I recommend getting a travel spray? With the current deal that they're running, yes. You can get two for one. So you buy two of these, you can get this and office and you pay for one. I think it's like 35 bucks, which is not bad. So I, I could recommend that. You're paying $35 for 20 milliliters, which is still not a great proposition, but it's not, not a bad way to sample it if you're looking to try it instead of going in on the full bottle. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about with Date for Men. These are my thoughts. If you've tried Date for Men, let me know down in the comments what you think. What are your thoughts on it? Would you also compare it to Ultramol? I just, I prefer this. It has that creaminess, that freshness. It is still fruity, sweet, kind of bubble gumish. When it dries, that vanilla really just makes it so much for me. I love it. So let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on Day for Men? Let's talk about it. If you like the video, like the video. <laughs> I really appreciate your support. And if you have not subscribed, I hope you consider doing so. We do more content like this. And again, we just try to keep it honest, keep it light, keep it fun. And again, I want to know how you feel too. So we can interact and you subscribe. We can interact on every video if you want to show up for it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.